most time our mind will always go to that the worst thing is fornication, worst thing is this adultery, idolatry. But we forgot that pride that Lucifer never committed fornication in heaven. Lucifer did not do masturbation in heaven. Lucifer didn't do homosexual or lesbianism in heaven. Proud brought him down. Pride disgraced him. And the seed of pride is in the almost all of us. Even men of God, our own is worst. You will see a man of God, they will invite him after prayer. Camera is carrying his face. After prayer, you see him. It's not that some people cannot be in this place, but some of them uh, as if oh obey to it anyway. Pride. You are just releasing upon. You have never even started. You already put in yourself a place that is approachable, unapproachable, and it will not be long. You will first of you will drive. There is nothing that brings somebody down like proud. God will always disgrace the proud. One of the times Jesus laughed in the Bible. The Bible said, Jesus laughed. Why? He said, Father, thank you for what you have denied the rich. You made known to the poor. So God always exhorts the humble and bring those who are big. Look at the people he chose, the 12. They are people of no capacity or caliber. When they were prophesying in Acts chapter 2, from verses 9, the Pharisees, the teachers, the Jewish people were surprised that these men are men of no education. Why are they speaking boldly? Why are they so, why is their word so convincing? Why did Peter preach and 3,000 people followed him? Ordinary fisherman. Are they drunk? Check yourself today. Are you proud? You are not too big. You come to church and you come to church. You are the wife of a rich man that supports the church. Anytime you come, you must have a specific cheer. If somebody is there, they will tell the person to get up. This is Madame Cheer. Proud. Destroys. It is good to go to a party and you stay at back. And they will call you to come in the front. Then you are on the front here and they will ask you to go back. In the realm of the spirits, one of the things that bring many men of God down is when you begin to put yourself in the place of God. When the honor that you go to God is not coming to you and is entering your brain. It will not be long. The anointing will begin to run dry. Because his glory, he will cheer with no one. So when they begin to praise you, 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 you don't take it. It's like that. They must praise a man of God now. But how do you? How does? How does those words they are saying enter your brain? People do that to me. It's also, but how do I feel about it? Nothing. But you can't stop people from doing such a thing. It's, it's impossible. When David the war, killed Goliath, the women were shouting. David the killed ten thousand. Saul so killed one. Bring yourself down. That you have money today. It's not because you are too intelligent. It's not because of your hard work. It's not because you are smarter than everybody. It is just by divine proving. It is just that God smile at you. Oh, because you have money. You don't come to church on time. You go very late. And whenever you go, people will notice you. Oh, because you have money. You cannot talk to your pastor anyhow. After all, I know how much I have put there. That is a statement of an arrogant person. I know how much I have put in that church. Are you giving human being? Are you giving to God? Proud. It may not be long. You will provoke the anger of the heavenly government. Proud. In your brain, you are so arrogant and proud. It will not be long. The grace will begin to fade out. The grace cannot increase and multiply in the life of someone who is proud. Are you proud that you have something that no one has ever had? And somebody said to me, Brother Ebuka, you don't even know where God has placed you. The, the way you do, the way you play with the children, everything, everything. Uh, you are a friend of the poor, the rich. Why should I be proud? I was born. I suddenly noticed the gift of vision, prophecy, healing. I suddenly, I never planned to have a ministry before. Having Zion ministry, to open a ministry, I've never planned it. From going to desert to pray on our own, as Brother Chibo. From there, crowds are coming there to look for me. That's how I started. I never planned it. So how will I be proud of what I don't know how it started? How will I be proud of the anointing that I don't own? I am just managing it for the owner, which is the Holy Spirit. Sister, bring yourself down. Brother, bring yourself down. That will make you to be happy and serve God faithfully. God will be, be happy with you if you bring yourself down. If you are humble. Jesus Christ is our exemplary master. He would have been born in the best house. But he chose to be born in the manger. And the Bible says in Philippians 2, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because of his humility, because of his humility, he was elevated. He was blessed. God bless him.
by giving him the name which is above every other name that at the mention of Jesus every nature bow oh you are so beautiful and in your beauty enter your brain instead of you to feel the spirit you are feeling the flesh sister everything you are brother everything you are will end up on the six feet everything you are today six feet is the last bus stop a place that I and you will be forgotten a place that that man too will come this beautiful eyelashes one day will be eaten by tamant. This pointed nose one day will be eaten by tamant. This hand, the beautiful, oh, you, you have a fresh laps, you have a fresh body. Best food for tamant. Big bomb bomb enlargement you have done with so how many million? You are preparing a better food for tamant. Your breast enlargement, it you are preparing bigger food for tamant. The flesh will be destroyed. Three days you died without nobody coming there. Without injection. Without chemical. Nobody will cross where you are. So what are we proud of? We were made with sand. And one day we will go back to sand. Which we came. Those that died before. If you open that ground, what you can see is bones. Can it, the whole beautiful flesh has been eaten. Do you know the kind of personalities that Tamat have eaten? Bigger presidents of the world. Great men and women. If you go to where they bury them today, Tamat have eaten their blood. Do you know how many professors that Tamant have eaten their body? Do you know how many presidents that Tamant have eaten their body? There is no body that Tamant will not eat. And that day, they will put you on, in the six feet where you will be totally forgotten. Where your best friend will be Tamant. Now you move with the security. The day you will die, there will be no security in the grave. It will be you alone. Your beautiful daughter will not be there. Your son will not be there to give you a cup of water. Your friends will be tamant. Therefore, humble yourself. Walk for God through humanity. Affect life positively. Meet up to people. Don't intimidate anybody because of your position. Don't! Bring yourself down. Bring your mind down. Your husband have three four cars. He can be poor tomorrow. There is no height anybody have. There is no height you are today that you cannot come down. Anytime God takes his grace, you will know you are nobody. If you stay two days without approaching your mouth, you can't talk where there is somebody. We are nothing. We are born. We came from the sand. We go back to sand. It's better you should be proud of your spirit. That's why St. Paul says, if you must boast, boast in the Lord. Do you know whom I am until I finish with you? Six feet. Tamant. I am the most, my shape is the most beautiful food for Tamant in the grave. Look at my hair. God created me on Sunday. Food for Tamant. And you don't know when it will come. My, I have six pack food for tamant. Your beautiful body will be eaten up one day. Where is your mother? Some of you that have lost her mother. Your mother, she has been eaten by tamant. Where, some of you that have lost your father. If you go to where they bury him now, you only see bone. The body has been eaten up. The eyes is, will be brought out by tamant. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. For we are in a pilgrimage here. Bring yourself down. Serve people well. Don't intimidate anybody. Because of your present condition, money have wings. You're making mouth with the one you have today. It can fly out of your house today and fly to somebody. God has humbled the greatest king of the world, like in the book of Message. Read your Bible. Pharaoh, greatest of the greatest king of the world. Humble yourself. See what does not. Know it this night that you are here for pilgrimage. Know it that everything you have today that you are posting off, you will not die with anyone. The day they will be burying you, your gold will not be buried with you. Your American passport will not be buried with you. Your British passport, your Nigerian passport. Your children will be watching. Daddy, daddy, daddy. They will carry shovel and put on your head. Come and come and say that bye bye to mommy. She will carry shovel and put sand. The same house you build now. Your own children will say you are not worthy to be here. They go to Montreal and stay, daddy. Daddy, go to Montreal and stay. They will be the one that will carry you and say you cannot be in the house again. They will go and drop you in the Montreal. And in the Montreal, where there is no where there is no AC. Where you are not, in your house, you have a comfort zone. But the day you will die, they will put you among the other dead people. That's your beautiful daughter you are proud of. I train her as a, a, a doctor. She can come and pay a visit in the mortuary and leave you there. After one month or two months, she will bring you. You think she's taking you home to go and uh, take over your room. No. First, she will go to mortuary to bring you. She has already dig a six feet where they will put you. Where you will be totally forgotten. And after two days, Tamant will come to be your friend. And that time, they will be covered in sand. They are not covered in sand with even chew. All the whole chew and canvas will be left behind. You will go with only stockings and one cloth. The whole house full of clothes will not go. No clothes will go. They will only put one cloth on your body and one stockings. I've not even seen someone buried with cap. So, why be proud? Humble yourself. Bring yourself down. Don't intimidate people. Don't hurt people's feelings. Because we are in pilgrimage here. Jesus.
Jesus will come close to you. Holy Ghost will be your friend. Anytime your heart is down, you have it. But you are humble. She's humble, girl. She's beautiful. But look at her. Very quiet, very humble. Not because you're beautiful. Every other girl, when a girl passes, a day is coming when you will put eyelashes your eyelashes are saying you know that your eyes is already old there is nothing that lasts forever only Jesus lasts forever if there are something you must boast with boast with Jesus your best shoe today tomorrow it will become fake you need one will come out and you have a latest car today 2024 model if, as I'm talking now 2025 model has come out oh. you are bragging with 2024 when others are already buying 2025 there is nothing worth posting. If you must post, post with Jesus. Your relationship with him, with you and him, Jesus, is eternal. Posting with your true, the best one is coming. Posting that you marry a beautiful wife, the beautiful one are yet even born. They are yet to be born. Nothing to be posted. If you must post, post in the Lord. Remain with Jesus. Humble yourself. Everything you can see is passing away. You have money, use it for God. The day you will die, even the one in the bank, you can, they cannot bury you with it. Stop Take away Buganism away from you. I'm not going on my canny where they go. Oh, God, bully, negoli, oh, my canny where they go. Brother, Mo, if you see poor children, you will help. It's not good to have this and that. Hey, calm down. It is by opportunity that you have one. If it's by physical bone, you can get it. If it's by intelligence, some people, some people are wiser than you. Some people know book more than you. But God just smile at you. Don't take God's blessings for granted. And don't use it to intimidate others. May God bless you. As you hear his voice, harden not your hearts.